Hello everybody, hi, good morning. It is Thursday morning. Thought it was Friday for a while, but it's definitely Thursday, which means we have got our fitness Pilates class this morning. Just starting now, so welcome everybody as you join me. And this class to remind you is our 35 minutes, five minutes relaxation at the end. And it is our higher level class. So this class is not one if you've never done Pilates before. Um, but if you are doing Pilates and you've done it before, but you want to keep it more gentle, that's fine. But just to warn you, we will be taking the higher options in a lot of the moves. So if you want to take a lower option, that's fine. Let's, oh gosh, let's see who's joining us this morning. We've got Christine, Alex, Karen, Kathy, Jean, Alba, Elizabeth, Smith, hello Elizabeth, Joan, uh, who else with Jean, Diane, Alison, oh, oh gosh, hang on a sec, I'm gonna press the funny button there, hang on, get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> Anne Marie McCann, Connie, Paul, oh my goodness, I won't keep going on, it's like a roll call, isn't it? Hello Kathy, hello everyone. Right, Nick and Alison's catchphrase there, Kathy. Right, so we're gonna go, the, ma the majority of this class is gonna be standing, and we're gonna do a little bit of kneeling. I know how much we enjoy kneeling, so remember, if you want to use a cushion for the kneeling work, hello everybody else who's arriving, good morning, good morning, uh, hi Denise, um, if you want to use a cushion for the kneeling, that's absolutely fine. I said in my thing just before the class to have hand weights, but then I've realised, actually we're not really using them in this class, <laughs> so you don't really need the hand weights, so just pop them to one side, don't fall over them like I just did. Okay, let's get going. So first of all, posture you guys know what you're doing with posture sorry my phone's pinging you know what you're doing with posture but i want you to make sure that you every time we're doing class you engage your posture properly so let's start from the feet up relax your feet make sure they're hip width apart soft knee so that means not locked but slightly soft suck in your tummy particularly on that exhale Pull it up and in, pelvic floor of course. Hips, give them a little wiggle round for me. Back around the other way, just loosen things up. And we can do a hip hike, hip hitch, hip hitch, that's the word I meant to say. A lift up and down, good. Shoulders, roll them back, lengthen through your crown. Chin is just gently tucked. Arms are hanging down beside you. Check this doesn't happen. Okay, so we should be ready to go, breath in. Exhale, tummy and pelvic floor lift. Inhale again. Exhale. Good, now we're gonna start with lots of squats. So down we go, push up. Now I'm gonna turn the music up just a little bit so I can hear it properly. If I deafen you, tell me. Guys, I don't want you not to hear everything. All the wonderful pearls of wisdom that are coming from my mouth. <laughs> So remember, with a squat, you sit back into your heels. Give me two more. One more. Now, just to change our feet subtly, we're going to bring them close together. Shoulders back again, same thing. So it's down. Now, you'll notice I'm not going incredibly low, because we just started. It might still not be warm. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One, now we're going to take the feet wide, really wide. Toes pointing out, little squats again. Particularly with this one, it's hard on those hips when those hips are cold. So don't go too low yet. Now you could be using your hand weights if you want to, seeing as I ask you to dig them out. But I don't think I'm going to use mine yet. Good, bring those feet back in. Little ballet squats, do you remember these ones? Little plies. So, small. Sitting into those heels. It gives you some weird old stretches. One more. Lovely, bring those feet back to hip width. Shoulders back, little side bend. Reach up first, over we go. Back to the middle, over the other way. Oh, lovely big stretch. I want you to make sure you're reaching that arm overhead so it's not collapsed on your head, it's lengthening. You'll get such a better stretch if you do that. Two more. 
Feeling that this morning. One more. Good. Rotation, arms up. Little twist. And back. Other way. Little twist. Whoa. Try and keep your hips still, everybody. Good. One more to go. Excellent. We're going to go back to those squats again. Do you remember all of them? Starting with those feet, normal hip width apart. Big breath in. Slow now. Down. So we started them quickly. Now we're slowing them down, which is harder. If you want to do the quick ones, of course you can. And again. Now bring those feet in really, really close. And again. Back. You're going to curse me after this. I'm going to curse myself. Because this is hard work. Legs and bottoms. Are you pulling in your tummy? Yes. Good. Take those feet lovely and wide. Down we go. Can you go a little bit lower? But controlling it because it's more slow. Slower. So control it. Nice crack cry knee then. And then bring the back in for our little plies. Beautiful. Shoulders are relaxed. And I really feel this stretch down the outside of my calves. You might find it elsewhere. One more. Good. Well done. Give your shoulders a little roll back. Bring yourselves back to our normal position. Okay, so I want us to work a little bit on our mobility through our spine. So we're going to do some roll downs now. We're going to go sideways. And we're going to do a variety. Glasses are going to come off. Okay, so first of all, just short ones, because they're not very low. Then we go just halfway. Back you come. So we're going to do quite a lot of roll downs now. Each time, I'm going to add a little extra something in. Not each time, but every now and again. A little bit lower. Down we go. Can you tuck your chin? Not quite to your lowest position, and then up. This time, all the way down. So I was talking to a friend yesterday who's got a bit of a bad back, and she's finding it quite challenging to do any kind of stretching at the moment. So when you're doing your roll down, stay there, everybody. Um, actually, no, Taylor, come up. When you're doing your roll downs, if your back's tender, just use some furniture, okay? Because that gives you a bit of support. So don't feel you've got to just do it without. Let's go down again. To your lowest position you can manage this morning. Oh, I'm just about got my fingers on the floor. Shoulders are relaxed. Tummy muscles are pulled in. We're going to let this stretch travel all at the back of the legs. Shoulders are down. Heads are heavy. Okay, up and come. Tummy's on. I want you to have a little look at this next move before you do. And then turn slightly sideways. Just watch. So same roll down, but look. One knee is straightening, one knee is bending. And then I'm going to ask you when you're down here with me to bring your chest towards one leg and your chest towards the other. And I have to say, it looks like next to nothing, but it's very intense. Easy does it. Breath in. Down we go. So tucking your chin. Head and shoulders are heavy. Get to your bottom position. Don't hurry yet. Stay where you are. Okay, so bend one, let's bend our right knee, straighten our left. So in itself, that's quite uncomfortable. Now I want you just to walk your fingers around or just swing around slightly so your chest is towards your right knee. And then bring yourself back around, chest, chest towards your left leg. Oh, back into the middle, put your legs back to normal position. Up you come. Did we feel that, everybody? Oh, just a little bit. So we need to obviously do it the other way. Breath in. Chin tucks. Round those shoulders. Down your head. Pulling your tummies in all the time. So this time I'm going to bend my left knee, straighten my right, which is worse for me today for some reason. Stay there. Take your chest towards one leg. Doesn't matter which one. Bring it back round. Chest towards the other. Oh, oh, oh. Back to that centre. Bend both knees back to where they were at the beginning. Up you come. Oh, how does that feel? Give those legs a shake out. Gonna have a slurp of my drink. Pretty tough that one, isn't it? Always take care. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a roll down. 
And we're then going to do a take ourselves down to kind of a monkey pose. So again, just have a little look. We're going to be in roll down, but then I want you to end up here. Sorry, I did that very well. Feet hip width apart, knuckles on the ground like a monkey. So it's going to be like that. Then we are going to lift our bottoms up and bring them down. And if you couldn't hear my knees then, they made an almighty crack, like gunshots. <laughs> okay, so big breath in, roll down to begin with. Down we go, lovely and steadily. Don't worry about this move. If you don't want to do it, just stick with roll downs. Now come down, it's like a little monkey, like a little sort of ape there. Okay, breath in. With your heels staying off the floor, lift your bottom in the air just a little bit. Take it down. And again, a bit more. Take it down. As high as you can, hold. Take it down. Pop your feet back to the floor, get to the bottom of your roll down, and then up we come. Now I know for lots of us, we worry about our knees, rightly so, but we do need to move them through the, through the full range of movement. Sharp pain, stop. Breath in. Down we go. So same thing as last time. Oh great, they all say. So pleased, <laughs> have a little dangle. Down like a little monkey. Oh, cracking noises from my joints today. Okay, breath in. Lift your bottom just a little bit. Pop it down. Now this time, if you want to make it a little bit different, pop your heels down as you lift your bottom up. So you pop your heels down. Let's go for one more. We're going to hold it. Hold it there. Whoa. Release those knees. Bring yourselves up. That was a deep joy, wasn't it? <laughs> Give them a shake up. We're going to go to the kneeling now. So we're going to roll down. We're going to take ourselves into a kneel. So if you want to use a cushion for this one, you can. Just deciding whether I need to move my mat around so you can see me a bit better. Yeah, and that works. Okay, so starting at the back of your mat. Big breath in. Roll down. Down we head. Arms are relaxed. Heads relaxed. We're so happy. Hold it there. And then just bring yourselves forward and onto your knees. Now my feet are flat to the floor. I'm straight as a die if I can manage it. One foot, bring it forward a long way. And I want you to lean through. So we've done this stretch in class. We've done it in a few of the online classes too. Uh, it's gonna get right into those hips and bottom. Some of you will want to stay here, and for the moment we will stay here, but in a minute we're going to make it harder. Breath in. Bring yourselves back onto your knees. Try not to put your hands to the floor. Other leg. Forward. That was a nice tune, isn't it? Leaning forward, hold it there. Pushing through the hips. Makes me feel quite relaxed. Bring yourselves back. Ooh, don't fall over like that, though. Tuck your toes under, onto your flat feet. Roll yourselves up. That'll teach me for thinking about the music and not concentrating on the movement. Okay, let's go again, breath in. Chin tuck. So we're gonna make it a bit harder this time. Try and keep an eye on the screen, but don't give yourself a neck ache in the process. Bring yourselves forward onto those things. I'm gonna shuffle just a bit back so you can see me better. One leg, doesn't matter which one. Again, long way forward. Lean in, so I'm looking straight ahead. What we're gonna add this time is gonna pop a hand to the floor. Now, that's my right foot, this is my left hand. Okay, so I'm, I'm pushing down into my hips. The other hand's got nowhere to go. Pop it behind your back. And then, if you can, turn in towards your thigh, Push that shoulder back and open your chest to the side. Sucking your tummy muscles, everybody. Breathe. Good. Bring yourselves back. Back onto your knee and without wobbling, like I did last time. Change legs. Forwards we go. I really want this foot to be way out from under that knee. So do you remember what we did? Opposite hand went down to the floor. Hand which has got nothing to do. Put it behind your back and then turn, open up your chest. I'm trying to push this shoulder back, looking away over, over Leslie's fence. If you're there, Leslie, hello. Bring it back. 
Bring yourself back up nice and tall. Back onto both knees. Tuck your toes under. Onto your feet. Up we come. Oh. Shoulders roll back. Okay, let's go again. Breath in. Chin tucks. Down we head. All the way to the floor. Pop your knees down. Lovely straight back. Grab a hold of one leg. Same as you did last time. Push it forwards. The only difference here I'm going to show you, so stay where you can see me. Hand goes down. Instead of that arm going behind my back, I'm going to put it up towards the ceiling. So with me, take that hand, unwrap it from behind your back, pop it up towards the ceiling. I'm trying to drop my shoulder back. Whoa. Are you pulling in your tummies, everybody? Back down. Up, you come onto your knees. Let's change over. It's hard, this, everybody, I know. It is fitness Pilates. This is not for the faint-hearted. Other hand down. You can start with your hand behind your back and rotate, and then unfurl that arm. Those who want to, I've got one more level to add. We'll do that next time. It'll be our last time through. Bring the arm back down. Bring yourselves back onto your knees. Tucking under those toes. Up we come. Oh, knees crack beautifully again. And up we come. So the change on this last one is we're going to take our knee off the floor. We're going to try it without the twist first. And we'll put the twist in if we want to. Breathe in. Chin tucked. Shoulders rounded. Tummies pulled in. So this sequence is working on everything. Upper body, lower body, core, strength, flexibility, mobility, everything. Okay, so one step at a time. Foot goes forward, lean in. Okay, now let's just have a little go at taking that leg off the floor. So put a hand down so you've got more balance. Other knees, so other foot's tucked under. Lift your back knee off the floor. Hold it there. Pop it back down. How can that do? All right? This time we're going to try and add that rotation in. So put your hand behind your back. First of all, just go for that balance. It's a little bit more difficult. So don't do it if you don't want to. Now rotate round. Arm comes up in the air. Everybody breathe. Give yourself a, a metaphorical pat on the back. Hold it there. Down you come. Oh, 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 oh. wow. Tough. Tough. Other leg forward, lean in. Remember, we're we'll doing it in stages. So first of all, one hand on your knee, other hand on the floor. Try taking that back knee off the floor. Always take care. Don't assume each side's going to be the same. If that was okay, put your knee back down again. If that was okay, let's put our hand behind our back. Well, the sun's coming out now. Nice. Toe under. Rotate. Tummy's on as you draw that arm up. Sink back into your heel on that extended leg. Hold, smile at me everybody, and down you come, oh, let's have a little child's pose rest, I recommend your knees apart, bring your head and shoulders down, oh, okay, let's just hold it there for a little while, arms can go out in front if you like, I've got my knees wide so that I'm stretching my lower back, well, stretch is normal in a normal child's pose, but more so in this one. Hold it there, everybody. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Fantastic. Bring yourselves back up. How are we feeling? <laughs> Whoa, no. That's how we're feeling. We're going to go to some stuff on our backs now. So I'm just going to move my mat round again. Hang on, right off the middle of the back. It's difficult with the camera in this position, but we can, we can make it work. Hand weights. I did say you'd need them, so grab hold of your hand weights. I'm just leaving my mat away from that table because I know I'm going to bonk my hands on it. Grab hold of your hand weights. Hop yourselves down on your backs. So one hand weight one side, one the other. So, nice little roll back down to the floor. Hope you can see me okay. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of work with the arms. I know the next class is arms. This is kind of like a warm up. So, breath in. Little pelvic tilt. Bring yourself up to a low bridge. Down we go. So that last in the, that last 20 minutes or so, we did a lot of work around those hips, 
around the lower back and mid back. Um, and now I want us to work more on the backs of the legs, thighs. So get yourselves up, let's hold it there this time. Hips are up, shoulders are back and relaxed. Up come those arms, holding the weights if you have them. Breath in, arms come out, back in again. Arms go out, back in again. So the, the reason why I like this move for our fitness pilates is there's so much strengthening going on. Bring those arms back down beside you and roll back down. Have a little stretch out, I've just got room, yep. Yeah. Have a little stretch out, you can point or flex your foot, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna go again, breath in, pelvic tilt. Draw yourselves up, arms overhead again. So instead of arms going out wide, this one we're gonna go overhead. So both arms overhead, bring back. Now they're probably disappearing out of view, but I'm not actually touching the floor, very gently. Try to bonk them down. Good, can you give me four more? Lift the hips a bit higher. Four, and back. Three, and back. Two more. Oh, my legs are aching. One more. Good. Bring those weights down beside you. Roll your back down. Oh, have a little straighten out those legs. So you should be thinking, wow, this is quite tough. That's because it is. <laughs> and again. Good. Okay, so now we're going to combine the different movements with the arms. Breath in. Tilt. Bring yourselves up. Now, can you squeeze your bottoms? Of course you can. Arms up high. One arm to the side. Bring it back. One arm the other way. One arm goes overhead. Don't let your back move. One more. We're going to do the same sequence. We're going to speed it up to the side. Other side. Overhead, one more, good, gently bring yourselves down, oh, give us need a stretch or a strength or a lengthen up to you, so did you feel it was a bit harder when we moved the arms more quickly, yeah, you've got to really pull your tummy in to stop the wobble, so that sequence one more time, okay, are you ready, no, <laughs> we're doing it anyway, tilt, up you come, Get yourself steady and comfy. Arms up in the air. Okay, slow single arm. So it's out, back. Other way, out, tummy's on. Arms overhead. I can feel my legs getting stronger. And again. Okay, ready to speed it up. Here we go, out to side. Other way, overhead. One more. Oh, well done. Pop those weights down. Give your knees a nice hug in. Ooh, feel the backs of those legs. Yeah, they do. Give them a nice leg. We're going to hold the stretch for a while. So one foot down, either around the knee or the back of the knee, doesn't matter. Pull that leg in. And I want you just to hold it there. Okay, so it's nothing complicated. Shoulders are relaxed. Pull your knee in so you can feel, oh, lots of stretches around there. Put in a bit more. Hold. Good, release that down, let's change over. So you can see what we're doing here, we're giving some stretches to the areas we've worked really hard. Hold. Can you pull your knee in a bit more? Good work, everybody. Okay, both knees in. Circle them round. That round the other way. Excellent. So we're going to go to the leg lowering work now. So for that one, I want your knees into tabletop position. Shoulders are relaxed. You can use your hand weights in a minute if you want to. All I want you to do is tap and return. So you're experienced people, you know what you're doing here, so let's make it harder straight away. Instead of your knees coming to tabletop, I want them to be a bit further away. So not quite tabletop, and instantly, oh my goodness, stomach muscles working harder. Yeah? Good. Let's go again, so a bit further with that leg. Further with that leg. Oh, a nice tune again. Further with that leg. Now, as we get more tired, it gets harder 
try a little harder to keep our back still. If it gets too difficult, just bring your knees in. One more. Good. Bring your knees in, give them a hug. Oh, tough. Feet to the floor for me now. So this is a simple move, but it's a tough one. I want one leg to come up as a tabletop, other one to come up. First one to go down, next one to go down. Good. Now, this time, hand on your tummy. Check you're not getting a kick from the baby. Okay, make sure your stomach doesn't bounce up. Good. Good. Now, it's very simple, very simple. Too simple, I think. So let's make it a little bit harder. Legs start further away. One comes up, and then, oh! And I'm not taking my knees quite to tabletop position. They're slightly before that. Tummy up, stop it a bit early. Oh, engage those tummy muscles, everybody. Good. Have a stretch. Oh, oh. So that little position change on your legs from being in tabletop, which is that one, isn't it? So just a little bit past tabletop makes it so much harder for those abdominal muscles to work. They have to work so much harder to keep your, your body still. Good, let's have a little stretch. Okay, feet are flat. Arms are out wide. Take both legs down to one, oh, mind your weight. Both legs down to one side. Now, I don't mind whether you have your arms out wide or down beside your body, but I want you to try and relax. So, on the next exhale, soften your body, and that includes unclenching your buttocks. Don't do one of the extra. This top leg comes over the bottom. So, cross it over that bottom leg. And I'm going to look the opposite way. I'm looking towards the trees with the barren leaves or barren branches. But we all know soon they'll be coming out into bloom again. They'll have some lovely leaves on them. Relax your body. I've seen the catkins are growing. There's definitely a little suggestion of plants not being completely dead. <laughs> okay, relax those legs back to where they were. Everything back into the middle. And they go the other way. That's it. So when you feel you can, if you feel you can, top leg comes over. So we have the announcements, um, well, announcements as such, to say that basically this is going on for longer. I'm going to keep the classes going. So unless anything happens, which means I can't, um, classes will continue Monday to Friday. I think the timings we've got kind of work for most people. Um, and I'll be doing the um, timetable for next week, probably tomorrow. So if you've got any requests for some tweaks or some slight changes or anything, get in touch. But I won't be doing evening classes. It's, it takes up all the space in here. And it's not very fair on my husband, really. So, got that nice twist there. Hold it there, relax. Oh, good, bring everything back. We're gonna gently roll onto our tummies. So nice and slowly. We're going to stretch our thighs. They've worked really hard today. So bring one foot up behind you. Take a hold. And do you remember we talked before about using a band? We've used it in some of the other classes. You can also use it here. So if you struggle to get your foot, to get hold of your foot, get your tie or whatever around it. And you can do that stretch, but you don't have to get a hold of your foot. It's actually quite a lot more comfortable on shoulders. So I'm pulling that in. Pushing my hips down and just letting that stretch happen. This is my son's, I think, tie from Henlow Middle. I've been sorting out the attic. Goodness me, I found some treasures. Push those hips down and an awful lot of junk. <laughs> an awful lot of junk. Hips down a bit more. Good, well done. Release that leg. Let's go to the other one. So you can use your band again or if you want to use your hand, that's fine. And push those hips down. Breathe for me, everybody. Exhale. Do a little bit more. Well done. Release your legs. Slowly push up to, to sitting, or, or kneeling, I should say. Push yourselves up. And we're going to go to child's cat pose or cat stretch. So cat stretch, remember, is that one. Child's pose, come right back, sit on your heels and move a bit. 
and then if you can prop your head on the floor, do. Quite often what happens is as we go to put our head down, our bottom lifts. So I don't want that to happen. So use your hand, make a little kind of little tower and put your head on that tower. And then maybe gradually over time, you'll find you can flatten your tower down. And then if you want to prop your hands down beside you, but try and keep bottom and heels connected. Breathe in. Exhale and soften. And again, breathe in. Exhale and soften. So we've done a lot around these hips today. Do not be surprised if they're a bit achy tomorrow or the next day. Up we come. Up to sitting. As I've said a lot of times before, aching is not necessarily a negative thing. In fact, in a lot of cases, a bit of an ache is quite positive. Uh, but if your hips are feeling uncomfortable tomorrow or the next day, best thing to do is get out and get them moving. Um, so maybe a little bit, so I'll just come to standing again. So just to warm up those hips, little rotations round, yeah, and then rotate back the other way. That's a really nice, simple way just to get those hips moving and then standing tilt, you tilt, release, tilt, release, and finally hip circles as well. So all those little things, each side will just loosen up your hips. We're going to go to our relaxation now everybody. Get yourselves down on the floor, close those eyes and then turn the music down a little bit. Take a nice deep breath everybody, get comfortable. See if we can put on something nice and relaxing from this. Yeah, there we go. Right, so close your eyes. That was a hard class. Who else joined us? Jane, Victoria, Emily, Linda, Deb, Ashley, Lisa, Trish, Sam. Who did I go first? Oh, you went well yesterday, Sam. I hope you feel better today. Brendan's here as well. Welcome, Brendan. Hello, Brian. Managed to get yourself out of bed this morning, Brendan. I'm not judging, I'm not judging. So get yourself comfy everybody, lie down, close your eyes, and just enjoy these few minutes of peace and quiet before the rest of your day.
Hello again, everybody. Have a nice little stretch. I can find some space for my hand. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Oh, when you're ready, slowly bring yourselves back up to sitting. Take your time. There is no hurry. Oh, well done, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty tough. So, like I say, if you found it tough, that's because it was tough. Um, give your shoulders a little roll back. Oh, head side to side, just to check you haven't tightened it up while you were lying down. And then big breath in. Exhale. And one more. Big breath in. Exhale. <sighs> give yourself a clap, a little pat on the back. Very, very well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. We've got our bite-sized strength coming next, which is arms. So you'll need your weights and you'll need a chair if you've got one. Um, and to see who else we've got there. This my list is here, Karen. Tough but good. It was Diane. It was quite tough, wasn't it? Um, oh, Christine, you've made up for it. That's great. It's lovely when you have a little routine, isn't it? If you can do things on certain days. I did put yesterday on Facebook a little bit about timetables and kind of to-do lists and things. Which, I mean, I've, I've always loved the to-do list. Anyone who knows me knows that. But they are very good. But personally, for me, I find them really helpful. The sun is out. It looks like we're going to have showers and sunshine today, but it doesn't mean we can't get out. Um, get out. I was in the woods walking the dog this morning, and the birds were lovely, really noisy. The birds were singing a lot. So um, get outside. I'll see some of you in 10 minutes, just under. The rest of you, hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow or next week. See you soon, everybody. Bye.